Hey Zen gang, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Latoya Princess and girl, y'all see it? Do y'all see her? Like she is gorgeous. Like, and I'm talking about the unit, not me. <laughs> but oh my God, like I am so in love with this style. I really just wanted to switch up my look and do something different, you know, get out of my comfort zone, do something new for y'all. And I could not be more happy that I pushed myself because I am so in love with this look. And I would have never thought to even do this on myself, but I was like, you know what, let's try it out. Let's try it out. And I am so happy I did. I have to just try to push myself to get out of my comfort zone because I feel like I kind of get stuck sometimes. But um, I am absolutely loving the way this came out. Now, I did, I'm not gonna lie, I did struggle to give y'all angles when I was creating this look. I was trying to show you me braiding it. But I did as best as I could. I, I'm hoping that everything came out, you know, clear enough for you to get the gist of what I was doing. But in this video i'm going to give you start to finish styling and a tutorial um and then we're going to get into the review so i was already rocking this hair with a middle part i've been wearing it for about three weeks now so it had a middle part so what i'm going to do now is i want to do four braids so I'm going to leave that middle part and then I'm going to do one slanted part on this side. I should have definitely cleaned the edge of my tail comb off because it is dirty and it isn't allowing me to get a straight part. So just make sure your tail comb is um, clean <laughs> so you get a part, your part as straight as possible. But I'm slanting this part because I want the braid to kind of meet. The two braids that I do on the top, I want them to meet, all right? So the next thing I'm going to do after I make that part is I'm going to take this um, this wax, okay? It's a wax stick, and I'm going to use that on both sides, and then I'm going to take my hot comb, and I'm going to kind of like uh, comb the hair towards each other so that when I braid, it doesn't continue to move from side to side. Like, I want it to sit very neatly on the top of the lace when I make the braid. So you want to make sure that, you know, um, the hair kind of like just goes where you want it to go. Like you want it to sit nice and neat. Okay. Because again, I had it set for a middle part. So all the hair is kind of going to one side on one side of the middle part and the other side on the other side of the middle part. Then I'm going to do a cornrow, but I'm not going to include the edges, okay? Because I do want to have some baby hairs. So I left that part out, and um, I'm not sure how to explain how to cornrow, but I just keep picking up pieces every time I kind of, like, go back. So it's kind of like something, I like, with braids, I kind of learned by watching and not by, like, kind of hearing someone explain it I'm more of a visual person so I'm trying to show you because I really don't know how to explain it but each time I go back I kind of pick up some hair from the lace and I definitely could have did it more neat but this is my first time even trying to do cornrows on lace and it is not as easy as it looks I'm not even going to lie to you I was struggling it's the second time I even did this braid so yeah so you just cornrow it to the end of the closure basically and then i just braided it a little bit more like i just continue to braid it a little bit more because i wasn't really sure at first i wanted to kind of like twirl it around and do like a um what do you call that a china bump i was gonna do two china bumps on the top i was gonna do two big china bumps but then I kind of decided that's not what I wanted to do. But for right now, I'm going to do the chida bump just to keep the hair out of the way so I could move on to the next braid. Okay, so I'm just wrapping that hair around and around and around all the way until there is no more hair um, left to wrap. And then I'm going to repeat the same exact step on the other side of that middle part. Okay, so now I'm going to... Go to the other side. So 
So I'm gonna part it in a slant, like I did the other braid. And I'm going to part it and slant it to where the china bump meets, okay? And then I'm gonna take that wax stick and I'm gonna do the same thing to this side. I'm going to hot comb the hair going towards the middle part so that I could get a nice and neat cornrow. And I'm gonna again do the same exact thing. I'm gonna leave out those edges so that I could have you know some baby hairs and then I'm just gonna and I wind up first I was doing it too tight so I had to kind of like like loosen the braid because I'm I'm a I'm a tight braider so I had to kind of loosen it up because I seen that it was making the lace lift and then I just continued to cornrow back the same way I did the first one and then um, I decided when I got up there that I did not want to have two china bumps. Okay, so um, even though I said I was going to take the, the um, knots out at the top, I left it there for now because I want to do the other two braids first. So I'm going to do the same step here. I angled the part so that when I do it, it's a triangular shape. Um, I want those two braids to come to the front this time because it's going to be like a bang condo. So I'm going to come to the front and I'm sorry if I didn't get everything on camera angled correctly. This is my first time attempting to record something like this and attempting to even create this type of style. But I did want to um, just show you, like, it, it wasn't hard. It, it was a little bit challenging, but it wasn't too hard, okay? So you're just going to do the same thing that you did with the other two braids, except you're just going to the front this time. And you're going to braid the braid all the way down because when you add the beads, you want, you know, you want the hair braided all the way down. You don't want it loose. And I still left out a little bit of the baby hair, okay? So I'm trying to get another angle. So I kind of like back the camera up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing, but I'm angling it once again. So now as you can see, it's kind of creating like a triangular shape. And now we're going to do the same exact thing that we did. We're going to add some of that wax stick. And then we are going to hot comb the hair towards each other so that when we are braiding down, it is a little easier. So, um, yeah, now I'm doing that same exact step. And once again, I did not get a good angle. So <laughs> I apologize. But as y'all can see, I definitely tried it. It really isn't as hard as it looks. It's just I just can't get an angle. I don't know what it is. But I will try harder next time. I promise you guys. So now I'm going to put the wig on my head, all right? So as you can see, I put the adjustable straps on and I'm putting it on my head just to see like, you know, if it sits correctly, especially because of how tight I braided it. I wanted to make sure the lace was going to be able to sit and I'm looking at it and now I can see the vision and I'm like, oh my God, girl, this is going to look so cute. So 
I'm gonna get my um, edge control. Well, not my edge control, I'm sorry. I'm gonna use the um, got to be glued and I'm gonna put that on my edges so that I can lay the wig down and attach it to my head. I'm gonna go all around the edges but I did leave my personal baby hairs out by my ears because I don't like ear tabs on wigs I usually use my own edges right there okay so I put the wig on and now I'm just gonna style my edges the way I would like to style them and you could do the way you like to style them I'm going to cut my edges down a little bit because I do feel like it's a little bit you know too long so we're going to separate them first so that you can see them clearly I'm just trying to see how I want to have them look I'm like eh, I think I want less on that side so you know you just play around with them and do how you see fit so yeah now I'm just like all right now I'm gonna like cut them so I cut them and they're about like an inch, a little, a little over an inch long. So it's not too, too long. And I'm just going to start swooping them. And I never like to start my swoop. Like if I swoop one way, right? I don't start my next swoop immediately. I try to leave a little space between each swoop. If that makes any sense, you'll see. So I'm swooping my, even though I'm swooping these like right next to each other, they're going separate directions. But if I'm going in the same direction, I don't like to start my swoop where the first swoop ends. I like to leave a little bit space because if you do them together, they kind of look like drapes and I like legit hate that look. So as you can see, I left a little space between them and we're going to start right here and then we're going to do the swoop. And I'm going to leave my edges out, so, on the bottom, like, you know, where my ear is. You can see my edges are already out. And there's space between that as well. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I just repeated the step on each side. Now I'm going to take an elastic band and I'm going to wrap that around my edges just to lay the wig down, okay? That was difficult, but I did it. <laughs> I was struggling, but I did it. And then as you can see, the two braids is coming to the front because I am about to add some beads to the end, okay? So I'm showing you that I braided it all the way down and I'm going to add these beads. I'm going to add six on both sides. They are clear beads, okay? And um, yeah, I'm just going to add six to the end of each. And I, what I do is when I get to the last bead, I take... Um, what is that called? I take a rubber band, a black rubber band so that it blends in with the hair. I take the end of the hair, I angle it going upward, I wrap it basically around that last bead and then I take the rubber band and I um, wrap it between the fifth and the sixth. I know that is, I know that made absolutely no sense even though it made sense. <laughs> but you can see me doing it here even though um it's a little bit out of focus so i'm sorry about that again i will try to be more aware of my camera okay so now i'm going to take the elastic band off so that i can see how the hair is laying and girl i love how this came out as you can see, I took the two knots out at the top and I just let the braids just like kind of blend in because the hair is already curly. So you really, it doesn't look bad. It just looks like it's just like a style, like, you know what I'm saying? So I just pushed it to the back and I'm in love. Like, 
I love this hairstyle. I'm so happy that I even tried to do it. I've been doing more braids on my um, units and I have been loving it because sometimes you don't want to put that stress on your natural hair. Um, and that's what the wigs are for, girl, for experimenting. This is the step I wish I did not make because it came out really orangey. So <sighs> I shouldn't have added any of the um, foundation color. But this is how the unit came out and I think it looks beautiful. I hope you enjoy it. I am about to give you all the information on this unit, so stay tuned. So this unit is from Hair Spells and it is their Brazilian Deep Wave and it is 180% density and I have it in the color 1B and it is 24 inches. So for it to be 24 inches, I definitely feel like they gave a lot of length because it is long, okay? It's long. All right, so let me show you the back because this is 180% density. So this is what the back is looking like. Okay, and all I did was braid the braids, but I didn't go all the way down. I just figured it would kind of blend in with the rest of the hair because it's not straight. You know, it's, it's a wavy, curly type of hair. So this is how long it is on me, and I am 5'5". Five, five. With brown eyes. <laughs> okay, so I decided to add the beads because it gives it like, you know, it just gives it a little pop. Like, I'm, I've been loving beads, okay? I know I'm a grown ass woman with beads, but I have been absolutely loving beads lately. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is the look and I think it came out really good. It's very, very hard to get a center part. So I know that my 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 parting everything is a little bit kind of to the side, but I still like the way it looked. And I try to angle it in a triangular type of like um like shape because it's not as noticeable. And I think I did a good job with that because it doesn't look too bad. I still laid out, you know, a little bit of baby hairs and I did not attached right here because I have my own baby hair out and I wasn't about to comb it out. So um, that's why it looks like that, but I think it came out pretty good. Okay, so um, this hair is in its natural state. I have been rocking this hair for about three weeks on and off, okay? And um, I think the hair is absolutely beautiful. This is the hair with no product in it. It is washed, it is clean, it is beautiful, all right? It is so gorgeous. Like, those waves are so nice. The hair is so soft, it's so plush, and I didn't really want it to be too, like, uniform, like my curls. I wanted it to be a little, um, you know, big, a little tousled, and I think it looks way more natural that way. And this is so freaking gorgeous. I haven't had any issues with tangling, definitely haven't had any issues with it shedding. I haven't had shedding problem on units in a long time, so I think that they are really doing a good job at um, kind of, like, um, making the quality a little better with these units okay so this unit again is from hair spells I would absolutely recommend it and I definitely think you should check it out um, let me know if you want to see like a more in-depth tutorial on braiding because I definitely could do that for y'all I hope y'all enjoyed this video if y'all have any questions y'all can always ask me down in the comments and I will get back to you let me know what y'all think about this wig on me okay keep in mind I am 37 <laughs> I'm about to be 38. <laughs> so I know I'm over here looking like a child. <laughs> but I absolutely love it. Like, I, I think it's so fun. Like, if you are just feeling like, you know, old, do something like this. Add some beads, boo. Add some little braids, boo. Okay? I'm feeling young as hell now. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I thank y'all so much for watching. I will have all the links down in the bottom bar. And if you would like to purchase this unit, I have a coupon code, which is Latoya, that will save you some coins. But you got to spend over $50, which what unit is under $50 anyway? Um, but, yeah, um, you want to save some coins, use my code Latoya, okay? So, I thank y'all so much for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, do all of that, girl. Subscribe. You know you like the way my hair came out. Stop playing with me, all right? Stop playing with me. Love y'all. <laughs>